This little video is going to show you how to import graphs and items from PowerPoint into Word as pictures. Now, when you import a graph into a Word document, what you're actually doing is importing all the information that was used to create it. I want to demonstrate this. If I click on my document, click on my um, graph here, I'm going to click on Copy or Control C. I'm going to go over to Word and paste that in. So it's happily brought across my graph. Now that's great, but if I double click on it, you'll see that I can now edit it. That's also good. But when you're working on really large documents, you can end up with a large number of graphs inside. The file sizes become really big. And when you start moving these around and opening them up, you can lose your editing. Now to keep the file size small and to make sure your editing and your graph looks like it always does, you can do a paste special to import it as a picture. Find Paste Special, it's up in the top corner. We click on the little down arrow, click on Paste Special, and now I have the option to paste it in as a JPEG. We get exactly the same graph. It's not editable anymore, but it is a picture, and so you're not going to lose any of the formatting, and the file is going to stay the same size. You can do the same trick in PowerPoint. So if I go to PowerPoint, I have a selection of items here that I can either ungroup or group together. I can copy those. I can go over to my new Word document and now I can paste those in as a JPEG. So that is now a picture inside my Word document instead of a PowerPoint file. It means you're going to keep the formatting and the letters aren't going to move around when somebody else opens up your document.